Tara Brown lived for her young daughter. Her Instagram page has dozens of photos of them in happier times. Then her final post, Carpe Diem, sees the day. Friends say she lived by the saying before her life was cut short trying to flee her high school sweetheart. Lionel Patea, a former bandito sergeant at arms, is accused of ramming her car off the road, then bashing her while she lay trapped in the wreckage. Her life support was turned off. Overnight, she died. She was 24. Today, Patea was charged with murder. Lionel Patea was being treated for self-inflicted stab wounds at the Gold Coast University Hospital, but now has been transferred to the PA in Brisbane due to safety concerns. Senior police from Ethical Standards Command have launched a separate investigation. After revelations, Tara Brown recently sought a domestic violence order but was turned away. There are incidents where sometimes police are not acting fast enough. So let's get that matter investigated. Family members today posted, rest now in heaven, beautiful girl, always and forever in our hearts. 5,000 people have liked a Facebook tribute page with the banner Stop Domestic Violence. A fundraising website has more than $15,000 to help support Tara Brown's daughter. Live to Eamon Atkinson at the crash scene on the Gold Coast and Eamon, a vigil has been held there. Good evening, Sharon. There were very emotional scenes here in the past hour as 200 mourners gathered at the place where Tara Brown was attacked. They came and laid flowers, many hugging and in tears. At one point, a rainbow appeared above the crowd. They had an impromptu sermon with a friend proclaiming Tara was a beautiful soul. Then they performed the haka. Family members are now making funeral arrangements as her former partner, now accused murderer, prepares to face court.